Hi, I'm Stan Miller with Rockwell Automation, and I'm here with Yanni Furaranta from Metso, and we're here at Automation Fair. Yanni, welcome to Automation Fair. It's Thank wonderful you. to have you. Uh, first of all, we'd love for you to tell our audience, uh, tell us a little bit about Metso and what Metso does. Yeah, Metso is a 150 years old company with roots in heavy equipment manufacturing. We serve uh, several industries. Uh, mining industry is the largest one for us. Uh, then we also serve aggregate industries, oil and gas, and waste recycling. So Yanni, you're here at Automation Fair. We're excited you're here. C could you tell us a little bit about what Metso is going to be doing at the show? Sure. So we are launching here our newest technology. It's called Metso Metrics. It's the uh, latest innovation that we've been developing together with Rockwell for 18 months or so. And we are launching it here at, at uh, Automation Fair. It's a predictive maintenance and asset optimization solution for designed for minerals process equipment, crushers, screens, big machines in the mine, and uh, take data out of those machines, turn those into actionable insights. So industrial IoT solution. Fantastic. Yanni, you have a very busy schedule here at Automation Fair. Uh, you guys are here at the Connected Enterprise Industry Pavilion. Yep. My understanding is you're also going to be at the Mining Forum as well. That's right. Uh, could you give us a little bit of a preview of what's going to be, what you're going to be discussing at the Mining Forum? Yeah, the, at the Mining Forum we are going to be discussing the challenges of uh, the mining industry today and going forward. And uh, looking at what the solutions are out there. Uh, the most interesting one for me personally is the intelligent minerals processing plan, what the plan of the future will look like, how are we going to run uh, 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 minerals processing plants going forward and uh, going deep into the uh, troubles that the customers are facing today around downtime and productivity and how we go, go about addressing those with new technology and new solutions. Now you make a really good point about the challenges that your customers face in the mining industry. Could we talk a little bit more about that? Um, sure. when, when, we look at whole, when you look at holistically the challenges that your customers face, that they're looking to help you to help them solve, what are some of those major challenges in addition to that down, to downtime that you mentioned? Yeah, um, there's a lot of challenges in, in mines today and in, in mining in general. So one big challenge is ore grains. Ore grains are declining rapidly. So from two decades ago, we are at all grades one third of the uh, richness of the ore than it used to be, which means that in the past, we had had to compensate by going bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, through economies of scale with bigger plants, we have been able to compensate the loss of our ore grade to get the same output, but processing a lot more material. But now we're at the turning point where that's not possible anymore. The machines are too big, the uh, uh, plants are too big, so we can't go any bigger. So something's go going, going to have to change. And what that something is to go more intelligent, more go more productive, getting more out of what you have in place already today. So rather than building bigger machines, be more productive. And that's, that's the biggest uh, challenge going forward. How do we as an industry become more efficient, more productive, and what's the new tele technology that can support that change? It's so exciting. So Yanni, we've talked a little bit about in the past about autonomous mining and yeah. the, fa you know, the fact that that is the trend that's going on in the industry. What, how does Metso Metrics plug into that whole vision of autonomous mining and, and meeting that customer need? Right. So when we look at uh, uh, the uh, minerals processing plant, it's in a way autonomous today because there's no operator pushing buttons there. They're already in the control room. Sometimes the control room may be a thousand miles away in big cities like Perth or Santiago. So in one way, the, uh, my, the minerals processing plant is autonomous. But if you still go and visit some of these sites, there, you're going to see dozens of people or even more than 100 people there. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of firefighting going on. So the reliability side of things is the big challenge. You have to maintain the machines all the time. There's smaller things, bigger, bigger things popping up. You have to have people on site to maintain those. So go, to go fully autonomous, to have people only on a fly-in, fly-out basis, you have to have substantially higher reliability on, of those assets. I'm talking about 99.9% .9 reliability between shutdowns. Some of the industries like oil and gas can get there already. Mining is nowhere close. We are low, operating in lower uh, 80s, upper, uh, upper 80s, uh, sometimes in the lower 90s in terms of asset efficiency and reliability. That's a far stretch towards where oil and gas is today, but that's something we need to make as an industry, that this big leap. Exciting, it sounds like an exciting future for the mining Absolutely. industry and a lot of opportunity um, as your customers get more out of their machines, yeah. being able to run them, run them longer, run them even more efficiently. Um, so 
people can find you here at the Connected Enterprise Industries Pavilion. They can certainly find you at the mi Mining Forum. Yes. For those of our viewers who cannot get to Automation Fair, um, where can they learn more about Metsometrics? Well, the easiest way is to go online. So www.metso.com slash metrics. You'll get all you need to know about metrics on a higher level. And if you go, want to go deeper, then you might want to contact either your local uh, Rockwell people or local Metso people for further information, and we'll be happy uh, to uh, come and talk to you. Fantastic. Yanni, thank you so much for your time this morning. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure to chat with you. If you'd like to learn more about Metso and the Metso, Metso Metrics solution, uh, check out metsometrics.com. And if you're here at the show, we strongly encourage you to come visit us uh, at the Connected Enterprise Pavilion, learn more about various industry solutions here at Automation Fair, and have a fabulous show. Thank you for watching.